Hi guys, it is organization day for my kitchen. Um, basically, I've been um, neglecting cleaning my kitchen for way too long. So it's time to move stuff around and take out some of the crap that like my landlord has left here. Um, so let me show you what I've done so far and hopefully this will give you an idea kind of of what I eat every day, what I buy, uh, what people give me, what I keep in my kitchen. Okay, so um, this is my organized, I know it doesn't look very organized, but my organized shelf of dry goods. Um, so I have on the bottom shelf um, this pink container is full of green lentils, uh, brown lentils, I don't know. Um, lentils are a really good source of protein, and uh, they're really cheap here, so a lot of volunteers will eat lentils. Um, they're also really great for making soups, salads, you know, you name it, um, and they're easy to cook. These particular lentils don't require, like, a long cooking time, so... Uh, unlike dried beans, they're very fast to cook, so they're a great option for volunteers, especially vegetarian volunteers who need to get protein and don't want to eat meat at sight for whatever reason. Um, I bought some uh, noodles in um, my PST Village, because they were actually a good price, about 800 something drum for each packet. Uh, and that's much cheaper than in Yerevan, too. So I believe these are glass noodles, uh, which are made from yam. And they're used a lot in Korean cooking, but, um, yeah. I use them for pad thai when I make, like, I call it hobo pad thai. Um, this container has, like, not tea in it, even though it's a tea container. Um, this is instant coffee like not good Armenian coffee but um, almost like hot chocolate kind of coffee uh, so I don't really like coffee much um, I don't really drink much coffee unless like I'm in a social situation with Armenians um, then I'll, I'll not refuse coffee but this coffee is sort of like sweet and sugary and I like it a lot more um, here we have some packs of instant noodles. This is basically there's like two options. There's the green kind and then there's the little more expensive red kind and their basic chicken flavor. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of instant noodle options here in Armenia, but at least we have some Russian ones. Um, behind that we have assorted tea that was left over by my uh, landlady raisins, which um, are just a nice snack, but also are used in Armenian cooking. They use it with rice, uh, and it's one of my favorite Armenian dishes, usually eaten during Easter. Um, I've got spaghetti and like dregs of some pasta. And then, uh, if you look on the second shelf, okay, uh, I've got a lot of jars, and most of these things have been given to me. Um, villagers are super nice and help me get fed even if I don't ask them to. So I have a jar of rice that, this is something I actually bought. Um, I bought rice like a big, I don't know, six, eight pound bag in Yerevan of jasmine rice and it's lasted me for a while. So I just keep refilling this jar. Um, Note to Peace Corps volunteers who are living alone, collect as many jars as you can. They're super useful. Um, and also for me, it's a bit of a struggle to keep my things, my food, um, away from mice and rats, rodents that live in, you know, I live in the countryside, so like in my house. So um, it's recommended that you get all these jars and keep your food in them so that they stay um, rat free, I guess. So, yeah, I've got almonds, which are really great, very healthy. They're kind of expensive, but, um, you know, it's worth it. Um, this is sort of like nut raisin mixture my host mom gave me. 
um, walnuts that my student, adult student gave me. That is like such a sweet gift because walnuts are actually really expensive. And these are like grown in my host village. So they're really good. They're organic. The flavor is so much better than store-bought ones. Um, lots of beans. Lots and lots and lots of beans. Um, pretty much the only thing I use jars for is keeping these sorts of things because I don't really eat processed food much here so um, yeah I just I try to collect as many jars as I can other volunteers have given me jars because they eat more processed foods because um, they live in towns or cities but for me I have a problem where I just don't have enough containers to keep all the beans that's why I still have plastic bags like these are beans there's jars in the back of beans 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 because my region is well known for growing beans um, here's some more walnuts um, this bag has chia which is Armenian dried fruit um, I have different varieties in there. My host mom gave it to me for Nortari, which was very sweet. Um, so let's move on. This is landlord crap that I would like to get rid of. Um, here we go. So I've got my spice rack on the bottom shelf. Um, these are spices that, or containers that I got from the U.S. that like my friend was kind enough to send me. Um, but you can buy some spices in Armenia, like I bought this uh, cayenne pepper here. It's not, it's kind of got some fillers in it, so it's not as good as like the American version, but um, you know, it'll do. Um, you can get chicken bouillon cubes in most small towns, or most towns and cities. Um, I cannot get this in my village, so when I'm in a bigger town, uh, I stock up. Uh, they also sell packets of bouillon powder. So this is actually vegetarian mushroom uh, broth powder. It's really great for making soup or, you know, whatever. I've got chili mix <laughs> from the U.S. that I brought because I love chili. Um, you know, spices. These are spices actually left over from other, another volunteer, probably an A25. Um, so for all the new volunteers, just watch out because the previous cohort um, will probably be leaving a bunch of stuff in the Peace Corps office that you can pick up for free. Um, I've got tea from back home. I really like celestial seasonings. Uh, peppermint and I've got peach. Those are my favorites. I'm a big tea fan. Um, so I've got like more tea on the shelf. These are all bag teas, like black tea. And some green. Um, <laughs> one of the funny things is I actually stole a bunch of tea from the hotel from staging because I didn't know if they would have like Earl Grey or things like that. Uh, luckily, they do have Earl Grey in Armenia. They do have green tea. They have a lot of Ceylon black tea. Um, but the best thing about Armenia is the mountain tea, which is like floral herbal tea that just people collect here from the mountainside and then they dry it in the sun and that's really good and I like to drink that a lot too. So tea lovers fret not even though this is a, a coffee nation there is plenty of tea. Um, yeah I've got jeera and like loads of other spices. Uh, you'll notice like in America we have these little plastic dispenser jar things. In Armenia they sell packets. So this is how you'll buy spices. Uh, like cocoa powder is sold in a packet. So it's it's not expensive, but it's kind of frustrating because you have to buy a bunch of packets, you know, just to like have enough. But, um, you know, it is what it is. It's also probably more eco-friendly, I guess. Uh, I've got Jello here from back in the States. This is Jello pistachio pudding mix, which I love, but you need milk, uh, which I don't have. Um, they don't really sell it in the village because people just have cows. Uh, <laughs> I unfortunately do. All right, I think my video like cut out because my phone <laughs> ran out of space. But anyways, we were talking about Jello. Don't have milk. Can't make Jello. We'll probably make cookies later. 
Um, next, various Indian spices. Um, the Sean and MDH in the back were sent from the US. Um, I bought this in Armenia. There are a lot of Indian people um, in Yerevan. Theoretically, there's also a store you can buy Indian stuff at in Yerevan. I haven't gone there yet. But they have these cool Indian markets that just sort of travel around Armenia to different cities and towns. So uh, I think I picked this up in Goris when I was visiting. Um, so yeah, if you're a Desi volunteer, keep your eyes peeled because there's probably an Indian market that will eventually be somewhere near you. And you can buy spices there, hair oil, etc. Stuff like that. Incense. Um, I've got like, oops, <laughs> Indian coffee. It's like with chicory. Um, I honestly don't know why they sent that to me because I don't really drink coffee. I'm a tea person. Um, I have like various cool sauces and stuff that my friend Nathan sent me when he came out to Yerevan. Like. I don't know, eight months ago <laughs> during my PST. Um, and I'm really, really grateful for that. I've been like hoarding it all. <laughs> I've got some Priya char, which is just a good taste of home. Sriracha. Um, you can buy uh, like off brand sriracha in Yerevan. It's not hard to find in like the major international stores. Um, but I like good old-fashioned real sriracha as well. Um, this is vanilla extract, which is super hard to find in country. But there's this cool place called Go Green in Yerevan. And it's kind of like my hippy-dippy store heaven. Uh, they sell vanilla extract. They sell like a billion types of extract. Almond, lemon, whatever. They sell um, like every type of cool shampoo soap I actually have like organic shampoo and conditioner bars from there um, they have like herbs they have sun-dried tomatoes they have literally any sort of thing that you could imagine they have it they also have really cool essential oils um, so if you like to make soap or you just are an essential oil person this is the place to go go green um, I have milky oolong. Okay, I was talking about milky oolong. Um, yeah, you can get this in Gavar. Um, it's 500 drum for a box, so I stocked up. Um, I think it's Candy Star, that's the store you can find it. So if you're a tea buff like me, that's where to go. Um, moving on. I think we talked about this stuff, but I can't remember. Kisel, weird, like, Soviet jelly drink, um, fruit flavored. It's pretty good. Uh, oatmeal, flour. Um, this is um, chickpea flour that I found at an Indian market, which is great. Um, fig jam made by my host mom. Thank you, host mom. Um, apricot jam, also made by my host mom. 9,000 drum for that big skippy jar. Uh, it's worth it. I'll say that. I eat a lot of peanut butter for protein. Um, moving on, so we've got soy sauce, which you can find pretty much anywhere in like big cities or like, not usually towns, but cities. Uh, Yerevan has it for sure, and if you're in the south, Goris has it, Kapan probably has it as well. This is just normal sunflower oil, which is what most Armenians use for cooking. Alright, let's talk olive oil, um, because a lot of Americans like using it, it's healthier than you know, most of the other vegetable oils on the market. Um, it's healthier than butter. So olive oil can be found in most places in Armenia, like in major grocery stores. Um, but the cheapest place to buy it, because it is pretty expensive, um, the cheapest place is in Yerevan. I think this was like 6,000 drum for one liter, which is a really, really good price. I found this at Aleppo Market, so that's this like little small um, Syrian Armenian store that's like right next to the Hanur Petutsian Haraparak Republic Square Metro. So you just like exit out of the metro and there's like this little walkway there um, and you just look on the left hand side and it's this tiny little store. 
um, but it has great like Syrian products, Persian products, um, and this is the best place to buy olive oil for the like the best price. Um, they also sell a lot of spices there for really cheap. That the like the owner grinds himself. Um, you can buy quinoa there. You can buy um, pomegranate syrup. There's a lot of stuff there, so definitely check it out. Um, be careful with buying sesame oil. This says it was sesame oil. Was absolutely not sesame oil. Um, I bought balsamic vinegar here, and I did not like it. guys there you have it my super messy kitchen that I have become uh, <laughs> that I have started to organize oh English is hard um, yeah hopefully that gives you guys an idea of the products that I have in my kitchen uh, hopefully it gives some of the a28 ideas about what to pack um, especially for other uh, volunteers of color, volunteers with special dietary restrictions. Um, hopefully my video helps you kind of realize the reality of shopping here and what we have, what we don't have. Um, you guys are pretty lucky overall because Armenia is actually uh, a great post. There's access to a lot of diversity overall, especially in the summer. Uh, with fresh produce, we have really, really good fruits and vegetables in Armenia. A lot of um, places that you can buy foreign products in Yerevan, so um, don't be afraid. But uh, hopefully this helps you guys think ahead a little bit about what to bring and what to prioritize. So, um, signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.